Welcome back, everybody, to some more wonderful Wubulus Project Zomboid. Now, before we start playing, I need to apologize for last episode, because in the long time that it's been since I've actually played Project Zomboid, I completely forgot that the reason I use Fraps over DX Tori for this game is because DX Tori does not frame the recording correctly. It cuts off my inventory, it cuts off the Moodles, it cuts off pretty much everything important to this game, so I apologize for that. I am back to using Fraps, so we should have that issue resolved. Now, we had come across a potential place to live, um, and I, oh crap, I can't remember. I literally played this less than 24 hours ago, and I can't remember what's, oh, that's right, we followed the blood trail. Son of a bitch, that was probably a bad idea. In hindsight, that was probably a horrendous idea, in fact. So let's find a place to hole up for the night, and sleep over in this general area, and hope that this is going to be enough for us for the night. What is our goal? Well, now our goal, because of, we've decided that we're going to be basically spending... Um, we're going to be continuing playing the Q version, is to figure out where we're going to be staying. Now, with the first place I stayed, apparently they were... I, a lot of you said they were coming through the window and not necessarily glitching through. Which, I'm hoping that's the case, because if, if otherwise, then we're in a lot of trouble. If they're glitching through, we're kind of screwed. What was that bang? Did I hear a bang in the game? Or was that part of the music? So I'm going to basically let time... There was somebody ripping through there. I'm going to let time kind of go through. And then I'm going to pass out on the couch. And hopefully my character will wake up at a decent hour. And by decent, I mean 7 or 8 in the morning. Perfect. 8 o'clock is exactly what I was hoping for. And we are going to, I guess... Oh, oh, no. Oh. I forgot the jukeboxes can be buggy. Let's not click on the jukebox. So now, the question is, do we go back for all of our stuff? Because we had so much stuff. And a part of me says, yes, we go back. Or do we continue exploring um, and hope that we come across uh, a better place to stay? Now, I like the place we had before. Again, it was well defensible. It was big enough. And a part of me says we should go back. And I think, I think that's what we're going to end up doing. But we're going to kind of head back slowly. We might, it might take us a few days to get back there because I'm going to take my time and loot. Now, we have a bunch of open doors and I cannot for the life of me remember if that's because of me or because of the enemy, and I'm going to automatically assume that it's because of an NPC, and the reason I say that is because it's just safer that way. Now, if it is an NPC, we need to be careful because there's a blood trail. Though I'm pretty sure, oh no, that's from me. That's from me, because I came in here, I followed the blood trail, and uh, uncooked TV dinner will take that just in case, and I was kind of following it, that's fine. And this is all bathrooms. We can actually, what we'll end up doing is follow the blood trail back to where we originally found it. Or until we get to somewhere where we recognize, but on this particular map, that may take a while just because I don't recognize anywhere over here at all. I don't know anything. There's a zombie there. We'll go take him out. Uh, I'm not too worried about him attracting anybody because we're not going to be sticking around here too long. If we did, I would have cut him off way before he got to the window. Looks like there's a second floor to this place, whatever it is. And, okay. See you later, brother. Alright. He, uh, he just went right through the wall. Teleportation powers and all. He's not dead. We'll wait, and then we'll do that. That should finish him off, and I can't even loot him. Oh, there's a little kitchen here. That's perfect. We're going to take everything we can out of here. Um, again, because we don't know what when we're going to get back, if we're going to get back, or hell, do I even want to go back anymore? Uh, that's, a, that's a really good question. I have a ton of food now. Now, granted, it would be better if I went back, because I'd have the food that I found here on top of the other food that I have waiting back at the... Uh, at my old house now. We can go through here. Hey, buddy. Hey. Okay. Um, that was interesting. He's. Alright, let's just take. Ooh, shotgun. Nope, not taking a shotgun. Not gonna allow myself. We are gonna take the shirt to see if anything else. Wouldn't be surprised if he eventually comes back as a zombie. Um, we'll have to be prepared for that just in case. Alright, so we got a lot of good stuff here. I'm actually gonna drink the soda. Just to empty the water bottle. Wow, that was uh, that was actually kind of sad. Kind of just walking through. Probably saw me. A glimpse of hope in his eyes. Walking towards me and then just dies before he could get to me. What that tells me is that he got himself into a really bad scuffle. Um, and there's potentially some zombies around any corner. So we are going to be exceptionally careful here. And we're going to, again, keep looting things. We're going to take um, that newspaper. And uh, that canned soup. And I'm not going to go on the second floor. There's one zombie. This is probably his blood trail. I don't necessarily want to follow his blood trail. 
it'll probably lead to whatever ended up killing him. I want to follow the blood trail that led me here. And that is going to be over here. Was... I hear moaning. Gotta be careful. I'm bored, apparently. I'm very bored with what's happening here. I, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if I was bored during the zombie apocalypse. I, you know, I've played so many games. I can only can only do this so many times before I want to slit my throat from boredom. Not desperation for the sake of the fact that there are zombies everywhere. No, no, just boredom. Okay, here's the house. Alright, alright, this is actually really good. Because I think I'm going to make this house my outpost. I really honestly do. Granted, there's a busted window and everything up there, but this house is in a really good spot. There's nice walls here. Um, we're going to shut these shades. There's nice walls there. We have a back door. Do we have a back door? Actually, that might be a problem as we have no back door. And I can't tell if that's a rock or a body. Potentially a body. We'll go check that out in a minute. We might not be able to ever tell, though. Um, a kitchen with lots of leftover food that we cannot actually get. And I'm hoping for an axe. So I can replace my bat because we're going to do a one weapon thing. Alright. We're going to call this home. This is our house. Uh, we are going to eventually go out and if we can, go back and get all the stuff that we left. And if that's possible, uh, I will feel a whole lot better about our situation. Now I know I did organization in the last one, but I like this house better. It has other defensible areas as well and it just feels nice. It feels like some sense of kind of security almost like a homely feeling let's go upstairs and see what we have to deal with up here oh that's blood smear okay okay this since this is a modded cell there's a little story here that's interesting so we've got a blood smear so my immediate thoughts would be there's gonna be a zombie in here somewhere the broken window could have been somebody jumping out so my worry will be this room right here But, okay, so that is a body down there. That's fine. We're going to shut those shades. That is a body. Uh, somebody jumped out the window and killed themselves. Which is definitely sad. But, uh, hey, you know, that means just means it's my house now. So thanks for the house, pal. I appreciate your suicide attempt. Actually, it wasn't really an attempt, was it? You actually did it. We're going to be uh, looting out the area. Making sure we have everything of use in, in nearby. Um, we only see his legs. <laughs> That's sad. Very nice. Nice nice touch. This house is actually pretty awesome. Um, just because of that. Whoop, we're getting a little hungry. I thought that was a panic meter going up. What are we looking for? Ooh, we can open those boxes now. Well, we'll take that chocolate. Looks like somebody tried to put a lamp on the shelf over there. And we'll head inside. Now, there, again, the reason I like it, we have woods over here. We have a whole wall system that we can worry about. And even multiple ent entrances and exits if we must. If I ever get a sledgehammer, we're going to knock down some back, uh, some back, well, actually, there's a door right there. We even have a back route. Why would we not stay here? This is phenomenal. This is absolutely perfect. This is exactly what I'm looking for right now. So we will, uh, oh, crap, it's getting late. So we're going to go up here. We're going to store everything we need to store. Um, we are, what is in here? I don't think I checked in here. A sheet and a book. So what we're going to do is take everything out of here. And we're going to do our usual, which I like, is keep snack foods upstairs. Um, I do we have, we have another end table, so I'm going to put soda pop on another table. Even keep pie. And the reason I like to do this, in case you're a new watcher, why do I particularly like to keep snack food upstairs, is because if, and this has happened before, and if you don't believe me, go back and watch a lot of my older stuff. If the horde comes by, if there's a monstrous horde out there, and I can't leave... I particularly, me, my personal play style, is to not leave my room. And I do that because there's less chance of me making noise. I will wait out days, I will literally sit in my room for days and just eat and keep myself entertained with magazines and journals if I have them, of which I need to go find, and wait out the horde. The most I've ever sat in a room was, I think, a week of in-game time. I think, I think we've sat in a room for a week. And that was enough for me to go out, clear out the remnants of the horde after they left, and feel pretty okay about it. Now we're going to fill up all of our water bottles here. And we're going to put these uh, in a separate place where I like to keep my water. I do like to keep a water stash, for those of you who don't know. 
and it's usually over here. We're going to keep um, all but one. We're going to keep two water bottles on us. And then we're going to put these in here. And do we have any more? The question is, do we have any more? And I don't think we do. Oh, we have a cup of water, actually. And I like to keep my water separate just because it can weigh you down, A, as I'm sure you're well aware. We'll even keep a knife in here. Um, it can wear you down pretty easily. Um, wow, there's a lot of crap in here. We're going to have to go through all this. Oh, it's, we're going to sleep first. A lot of the next couple days are going to be kind of just organizing everything. So, we woke up early today. I'm hoping that's not because we heard anything outside. That tends to be what keeps us up a lot, is just hearing noises outside that can potentially be zombies. Also could potentially be survivors. Which is way, way, way... Oops, I, I put this in the wrong area. Let's put this over in this one. And then we're going to put all the crap in here. Now the knife is going to stay in there, only because I don't need the knife. And our shirt today is going to be black, black bowed as well. Um, uh, let's see, we don't need socks, at least not yet in this game. One day, I'm sure, they'll have a use for it. Oh, apparently I was wearing that one, it's fine. Well, we'll keep this one. We'll keep a sweater vest, because, well, no, it's a muscle shirt. Because we're badass. And we're a construction worker, and well, what do construction workers wear? They wear muscle shirts, guys. Let's be honest. Alright, let's go downstairs. We're not going to eat our snack food. We're hungry, but we're not dying by any stretch. Um, one of the things we need to absolutely do as well while we have time and the electricity is to um, ooh, there's a mug here, is to cook up all the meats that we could potentially cook up before they go bad. And that ch chocolate should be in the snack food drawer. But this is going to be preserved goods and canned goods because we don't have many of both so we could definitely combine them. And now we're looking pretty good. Cereal as well. So let's cook up meat. Let's eat some breakfast. Let's have some bread for breakfast. We're a little bored, but that's okay. I wish we could scroll through, but we're going to get meats. That's what we're going for. And then we're going to cook up all the meats. All right, that's all of them. All the meats that we could cook up, we're going to. Try not to burn it. Chicken is the one I usually have the most problems with. We'll see. We'll see if we can do this. We're going to speed up time just a little bit, and then we're going to pause it, pause it, pause it. All right. Play it. Turn it off. Perfectly browned cooked chicken. Perfect. Salmon, I always burn as well. Um, let's just turn on the oven here and hope they don't burn. Do we have any steak? I think we have steak back at the other, at the other place. Um, I'm going to wait until this cooks on normal time. I'm not going to... I'm definitely not going to put it on a little bit faster because salmon cooks a lot faster than chicken does in real life and in this game. So we need to keep an eye on it and not let it burn. It's getting heat heated up pretty quickly. Hopefully any minute we'll, be, uh, we'll have some cooked salmon. I'm not going to leave it in the oven. I will eventually burn myself to the ground if I end up doing that. We also, doing this is letting me realize that I definitely need to put a sheet on that window near the oven so we don't get seen by any either passersby or zombies, either or. And there we go. Come on. Cooked salmon. Perfect. So we got our meat cooked. We don't have to worry about that anymore, which is super excellent. We could put that right back in the fridge. We could just eat this whenever we want. We're going to eat some broccoli for breakfast. We're going to keep a little bit of fruit on us. We're going to put everything else back in the fridge. We're going to keep the cheese. We're going to keep one banana and one apple on us for, for, for variety. We also need to put the sheet up, and we're going to make sure all windows that are not covered are covered if we're going to attempt to live in this place. These are all covered, so I think it was that only one. So let's do a little bit of exploration here. Let's swing in here real quick. Make sure there's no zombies. All right, let's let's uh, let's start making our way to where we had our other stuff. Now the problem, the reason we ran is because there were a lot of zombies. So if there's a lot of zombies coming back here, we're going to have to be very careful not to lead them here. And there's already two right there. Three, okay. And is a survivor... All right, we've got a lot of zombies over there, and it looks like they're being drawn to something. So what we're going to do is a lot over there. So we're going to walk back to the house very, very slowly. We are not going to run, and we are going to swing in and hopefully lose them and maybe take a look up the window if we have a window to look out of out there. If we do, we'll take a... All right, let's see if we can get a, a good look over there. 
If that's the case, is one, two, all right, something's going on over there. And that was my worry because that was happening last time as well. And that's what kind of made me have to run and get out of there is because there was a horde. Now that I know for sure that there's a horde, I'm a little bit more nervous. It's going to take some time. I don't feel safe leaving the house. If anything, maybe a short scavenger runs to the nearby area. If anything, and I'm saying that's, that is rare. I would like, my primary likes right now would have to be um, a notebook and pen and pencil and an axe. And that's what I desperately, desperately, desperately want right now. And I want those because boredom. And I want to know where they're going. I'm like mousing over so I can move the screen, but that doesn't work, obviously. I really, really want to know what's going on over there. Uh, either way, we're in a good spot now. I feel comfortable here. I feel safe here. I really want wood as well. Ah, uh, there's so many things. Now that I'm thinking and I'm getting back into the the style, uh, uh, the, the mood to play this game, just kind of getting back into the swing of things, all the checklists that always come up when I play, all the mental checklists that I go through are starting to pop up. I need wood to board doors. I need an axe. I need more food. I need something to kill off my boredom. Water supply is good, but not good enough. We need more water supply. We need to cook all the meat we could possibly cook before the electricity goes off in a few days. So much things to do, and that horde out there is completely destroying my plans. I need to get them out of here, and it might even be worth going out and distracting them, but that's not going to happen yet. If we could go out, potentially distract them, um, we could get them to move away, then in a day or two, once all the majority have moved away to somewhere else, we have a potential window to go in there and grab everything we need. But the problem there is creating a distraction that's going to keep me safe. That's the problem. If I'm not safe when I do it, if I'm not in a good area where there's easy access, the horde could easily A, trap me, B, swing back this way, or C, follow me home. And following me home is the worst possible outcome. And I know I'm doing a lot of talking here, trying to weigh my options, but I cannot risk, especially with a huge horde out there, doing any of that. I, I, and I, I went silent there because I thought I heard banging on the door and I was like, panicking because I was going to need to go take that zombie out quick before they attracted anybody. So we're in a bit of a bind in that when that comes to that because now we can't go back and get what we what we are left and that's something that we need to make sure we're able to do at some point all right i need to think let's do a quick and i mean quick like you know in game time two hours okay yep perfect let's get you out of here okay okay Ooh, he almost bit me i don't know how how he almost bit me but he did all right, his, his eye came flying out. All right, let's do a quick reconnaissance mission and make sure there are zero zombies around here. And that was not a promising start. But that might have been the one that saw me and started wandering this way. Could have come through the woods as well. Wood zombies always dangerous. But, all right. So outside the house, somebody was living? Like, that's what's... Conf that this, this confuses me. Like, this area, right next to a house, somebody was sh kind of holed up and shambled. Come on. I will easily take you out. The two of you, not a problem. I think I saw one over there coming out of the woods. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Come on. One. He's still up. Come on. Dead. Yep, you next. All right, we have a we have a huge zombie issue here right now. So, the longer I stay, the more dangerous it's for, it is for me. So I need to get out of here. If I can get some wood, which I can, I'll be, I'll be happy. But for now, more wood. Alright, so if we could get... Alright, four pieces of wood. I'm going to take that and leave. It is getting late. We could potentially board up some windows here. Um, this window's a priority because there's really nowhere for them to come in the back. This is actually really safe. We're going to... Um, that's the sound effects of the game. Of the music, rather. So what we want to do is board up this window here. Alright, that's fine. And then we'll board up the window on the side over here. Now that'll at least protect two entrances here. 
And uh, we'll, we'll be able to, I mean, we just gave them X, like 20 health each when they only have 0.5 at any normal time. So it's going to take them a long time to bust in. We're going to have time to go to bed now. We can sleep. All right. The banging could have led them here. Well, let's go to bed first. If I hear more moaning in the morning. Like that. There is. There they are. Alright, we're gonna go to sleep and hope they go away. That worries me. We'll hope they don't bang on the door. They have not. They have not started trying to bust down the windows and doors, which is really, really good. They're still out there, but because they're around, we're gonna stay quiet. But you're gonna have to leave you guys in suspense for one episode. I'll see you guys next time here on Mathis Plays More Project Zomboid. We've accomplished a good amount quite happy with what we've accomplished this episode actually and we actually have a place we can call home thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time